One thing I find a little bit annoying about the FlySky Nirvana is that there's no simple way of reordering your models using the user interface. I hope I'm wrong. If someone can prove me wrong, then I will gladly be proven wrong. Uh, but that's a bit annoying. Uh, why do I want to reorder the models? Uh, firstly, whenever you add a new model, it simply adds it to the end and you may not want that to happen. Uh, secondly, I run a couple of template models. So what that means is I run XJT and I run native FlySky, obviously. So I simply created a couple of template uh, models that contain all the settings that I want universally. Uh, universally? Yeah, that's right. Uh, and that way I simply copy those or duplicate those whenever I'm adding a new quad. And the third reason I want to reorder my models is I have a lot of grouped models and or similar models so i have tiny hawk tiny hawk s tiny hawk freestyle i want those grouped together i want my b brains grouped together um, and any other quads that are similar i want them to have a particular order i will be writing to fly sky and recommending that there's a simple change in their user interface that allows for the reordering of models but until such time that happens um, i have found a hack way of doing that i'll show that to you shortly uh, by the way i did get my multi protocol model module come through. I'm not sure if you can see that. There we go. It should focus. Uh, that is the URAV TMX5. I've been told by a few people that that works nicely. I will do a comparison video between that and the XJT. I've had some issues with my XJT module uh, and I'm curious to see if the range on this running FrySky is the same or if it's similar to uh, XJT which consumes a bit more power. So I'll, I'll be doing that in a future video. Anyway, let's have a look at how we can uh, reorder the models using a bit of a hack. First thing you want to do is go into your actual model library. So model select. And what I would like to do personally is group together some liked models. So I have my Tiny Hawk there and my Tiny Hawk S there with one in between. I want to group those two together. Uh, and I also want to move these two template models that I have uh, to the top of the screen. So whenever I want to create a new one, I simply copy those. And you'll see I've got an XJT and a FlySky template there. So the first thing you do is when you select a model, you'll see down the bottom of screen, I'll, I'll use a pointer here, um, you've got model 10. Write those numbers down. So write down your profile name uh, and your model number there. Model 11, so on and so forth. 15, you'll notice that they skip sometimes and you'll have some, some bizarre gaps between. And that's simply because behind the scenes uh, in your directory, uh, every time you create a new model, it creates a new bin file for it. Uh, and if you delete models, it doesn't remove that bin file, it keeps it in the background, it simply doesn't call upon it. Uh, so you might find some gaps in numbers. So once you've written all those down, uh, we now want to jump onto your PC and I'll show you what to do next. The next thing you want to do is naturally back up your SD card. You can back up your SD card by either plugging your transmitter straight in via USB or you can remove your lanyard bracket uh, and gaining direct access to your SD card. But specifically we want to play with the radio and models folders. So if you at the very least back those two up, just in case you stuff something up or something goes wrong, uh, you can revert back by simply copying those back into your SD card. You'll also note here I have a listing of all my current order of models, so the models as they were listed uh, in the current UI, uh, and that's quite handy to have, so it's good to have that note as well. If I go into my models directory, it's going to keep a copy of every model I've created. So you'll note that whilst I only have uh, about eight or so here, there's quite a few in here. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it retains that, that sequential order. So you can delete, if you like, models that you no longer require. Uh, but in this case here, what I'm trying to achieve is I'd like to group together my Tiny Hawk and Tiny Hawk S. So I'll see that there's a 15 and a 16, uh, sorry, a 15 and a 17. So I'd like to make the Tiny Hawk S number 16. So I'm going to rename my current model 20 because currently Tiny Hawk S has that bin file of 20. I'm going to rename that 16. Now you might find that you may already have a 16 and things might get a little bit messy where you have to rename a few times. In this case here I'm simply going to add it to 16. So let's go over to model 20 and we'll rename that 16. And I'll just make a note here that I've renamed that 16. Uh, I also want to make my XJT template and FlySky template models 1 and 2. So I want those at the top of my model order. So they're currently 29 and 30, and I'm going to rename those 1 and 2. Uh, 
Uh, currently, I don't have an existing one or two. Uh, again, you may need to rename a couple of times to, to clear that out. But in this case here, I'll rename that model one. Uh, and over here, I'll rename that model two. And I'll just make a note here that that's model one and that's model two. The next thing you want to do is to go into your radio folder and edit the models file here. You may need to associate that with notepad. So right mouse click and open with or open. And if you scroll down, you should have open with and then you can select notepad. Otherwise, I've already associated it there. So I'll select that. Uh, and you'll find that your active models are listed here. So whilst by comparison, if I move that aside and just move back to the models directory, so you can see that I have a whole heap of models there. The ones that appear on the actual menu system are these ones here. So I'd like to rename model 29 and 30 to one and two. One and two. And I'll move those to the top, control X. V. Uh, and then here I also want to rename Tiny Hawk S, which is currently 20 to 16. So 20 I will change to 16. And I'll put that file in between 15 and 16. And just neaten that up a little bit. I'll save that. And that should do it. Let's check the transmitter to see if that worked. Okay, so now let's check to see if it worked. Again, we'll go into our model select and you'll see my template folders are at the top. Uh, my B brains and my tiny hawks are grouped together. So that worked nicely. Uh, if you want to know how I added these images and how I created some of these uh, widgets and so forth, I'll put a link to another video I made on some OpenCX mods for the Nirvana. Uh, you might find that when you do reboot your transmitter, um, it might act a little bit weird. And that could be because you may have selected a template previously or you may have been on a template that you since renamed. So simply select a different one and then reboot again. If you've got problems and you may have stuffed the whole thing up, uh, restore from your backup uh, and then try it again. Thanks for watching, I hope you found that useful. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I will be doing a comparison video between the URA V TMX5 4 in 1 multi protocol module blah, blah, uh, versus the XJT module, specifically comparing the range of uh, FrySky uh, because I have had issues with XJT. And so hopefully this one works a lot smoother. It requires less power. I think the, the cause of a lot of those issues on the XJT are power related because it sucks up too much voltage. So we'll be doing that video shortly. Uh, if there are any other videos that you want to see, my intention is to make some more how-to guides. Uh, please leave a comment in the description and I'll try my best to get around to those. Uh, if you do want to know how I added a lot of those images and, and set up some of the, the funky widget settings that I've got uh, on my transmitter, check out this video. I'll put a link to it shortly. Uh, otherwise, have a great day. Thanks.